Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. Uh, this is another Picross based game. You might remember I really loved Murder, Murder by Numbers, uh, which was basically Picross meets Ace Attorney. This is Picross meets a dating sim, uh, and it sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> um, if the audio is a bit weird here, that's because I'm at a friend's place using their like fancy audio equipment. There's like some professional musicians here, so um, my setup's a lot fancier than normal, and it's possible I'll be speaking louder because I'm using like proper headphones that cover my ears entirely, that kind of thing. Uh, I might need to tweak the volume here and there. Um, we'll see how we go. Uh, but it's really cool. It's like a really cool setup. I'm not getting any ground loop buzz, which makes sense because I'm using a digital connection from the TV to the thingy, but whatever. Anyway. So this game, I know I'm going to love about half of it, I don't know if I'm going to love the other half. See, um, the character in the middle there, uh, with the, like, the purple cape, that's, uh, I think her name's Pixel Girl? Uh, she's the main character, you play as her, uh, and she, you know, she dates the other four characters you can see there. Uh, I believe, uh, if you look at the, like, uh, the webpage for the game, it's got this here, so, I believe Sudoku and PC? Uh, women and chess and crossword are dudes. You can see there's no pronouns there, so I'm not sure, but that's the impression I've gotten from reading about the game. Um, and I'm not super interested in dating dudes, so, you know. Uh, I may only enjoy half of the characters you can date in this game, but we'll see how we go. Also, yeah, you can date a giant puzzle piece, and I think that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's check this out. Uh, yeah, my volume is a bit loud. Uh, you won't be able to tell, like, that's the volume I'm getting for the game. Uh, I'll just, I'll let down a little bit. Mm, probably about there. We'll see how we go. Oh, a spooky ghost. <gasps> a rude ghost. I believe that's the developer's name. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Sky map. Pixel Puzzle Makeout League. Let's look at the options. Audio. You can change the volume if you want. Uh, theme? Okay, I'll unlock more themes as I play, I guess, because there's only one so far. I'm going to turn it down a bit more. Hang on. I don't want to have to talk over it too much. Um, you're going to be hearing it at a different volume anyway, but it was a bit too loud for me. Uh, intense effects, I'm guessing that's like a photosensitivity thing, so I might switch that off just to, uh, accommodate the viewers. Puzzles, oh, I see. Autofill, repeat, completed rolls, columns, fake completed numbers. Free mode? What's free mode? I assume it's like an accessibility thing, but there's not much information about exactly what that does. Hmm. Well, is that on the defaults, and we'll see how we go, I suppose. New game. I hope my voice sounds fine, like, I'm hearing myself a little more muffled than usual because of these headphones. Uh, we'll see how we do. It's a beautiful day. For justice. Sorry, did I get that right? My name is Pixel Girl. I'm a superhero in training. Some heroes can fly, others run with super speed. As for me, I've been bestowed with the power of pixel puzzle solving. Totally incredible, right? To me, everything looks like a magical series of squares and numbers. Like that tree, and those babies, or the cute barista at Coffee Pals. Life is just one big pixel puzzle. You might be wondering, what exactly is the power of pixel puzzle solving? It's totally obvious, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> oh, she's cute. To be honest, I'm still figuring out how my puzzling puzzle powers can be used in any practical sense. Uh, I just want to be a real hero already. I'm barely managing not to be a super burden. No need to get so existential. My puzzle powers are just another puzzle to be solved. I'll keep acting like a real hero until I become one. So, what's on my superhero agenda today? Drum roll, please. Today's heroic feat of super, super, super hero heroism is... Super relaxation! Even heroes get days off, you know? I'm going shoe shopping. D don't worry, this isn't going to turn to some mid-2000s women be shopping gag. 
Hero training has done a number on my sneaks, so I need a new pair, like yesterday. On my other days off, I'll spend maybe 7, 8, or 13 hours finding puzzle solutions. But it makes me wonder... Could there really be more to life than just solving pixel puzzles? Probably not! <laughs> Time to go shopping! Oh, she's adorable. What a cute protagonist. Uh, do I need to press anything, or just leave it? Oh, okay. Wow, so many sneakers! Chunk tailors, spikies, spikies? Bear Jordans? What is so darn alluring about the smooth curves of a new pair of sneakers? I want them all! Too bad the superhero psychic doesn't pay that well. Or at all, really. Someday, all heroes will get that sweet, sweet government funding. Don't worry, local citizens, I won't spend your taxpayer dollars on anything too frivolous. Oh, that pair comes in purple! There's something about this design, the craftsmanship, the smell of rubber gives me a funny feeling. Oh, puzzle time? It's puzzle time! Superheroing in progress. I'm not pressing anything, this is happening automatically. Uh, is it- am I supposed to learn how to do a pit cross by watching this, or is this just like- It's just a cutscene, I guess. Sneaker. Even on my day off, I can't turn off my pres prestigious powers. <laughs> so far, it's just been a visual novel. There hasn't been a whole lot of gameplay yet. I like visual novels, but I also like solving puzzles, so I hope I get to do that soon. <laughs> huh? Someone's behind me? Bang. Pop. What's going on? A gas grenade! I need to contact the others, but... That's not good. I'm getting dizzy. So much smoke! This is dark. What a puzzling... conundrum. Oh, my head. I've got a super throbbing, super headache. What even happened? I remember being gassed, and then... Why is it so dark? Oh no, am I blind? Folded. I've been blindfolded. Come on, Pixel Girl. Superheroes can't jump to conclusions. I'd love to strike a dramatic pose to punctuate that point, but I'm tied up too. How am I gonna get out of this one? Okay, stay calm. Take a deep breath and remember the basics. Pixel puzzles will set me free. Would you like a tutorial on how to solve pixel puzzles? I know, but I I'd like to see the tutorials to see what it's about. Let's get you up to speed on pixel puzzles. Your goal is to fill in all of the correct squares, revealing a hidden picture. Press A on an empty square if you think it needs to be filled in as part of the full picture. If you're correct, that blank square will be filled in. You can also select multiple squares at once by holding A. If you guess wrong, then a pink X will be marked on that square instead. You'll also lose time from the ticking timer, so be careful not to guess randomly. How do you figure out which squares need filling in? Use the hint numbers on the border of the puzzle grid as a guide. Each row and column has a set of hint numbers that tell you how many squares need to be filled in. If a row or column reads three, then there is one solid group of three squares that needs filling in. One row may only have one hint number, another row may have multiple hint numbers. Here's what one by one looks like when completed correctly. Two sets of one... one oh, sorry, one x1? Yeah, one x1, I guess. Two sets of one filled in, fill, filled in squared each, separated by at least one blank square. 1x1x1 means that there are three separate groups of one filled, one filled in square each. Press B on a square that does not need filling in to mark it with a yellow X. These yellow X's help you keep track of squares that don't need filling in as part of the full picture. Using X's is vital to solving larger puzzles. Unsure if a square needs either filling in or an X? Press X instead to mark the square with a question mark, so you know to come back to it later. Press B on an X or X on a, on a question mark to remove it from a square. 
You can't press A to fill in a square that is already marked with an X or a question mark, so remove them first. If you prefer fewer hints, turn on free mode from the options menu. Free mode doesn't use pink X's, so you won't know if your solution is correct until the full picture is completed. Oh, okay. So, you can either play, uh, basically the way most Picross games work, which is when you make a mistake you get penalised some time and it fills in the square with an X, or free mode, which is the way Murder by Numbers works, where if you make a mistake, it just silently lets you continue with the mistake, basically. And then you realise at the end and you go, oh no, I've made a mistake. Using hints is okay too, just know that you won't ever need to guess to finish a puzzle. Did you know, Pixel Puzzle Makeout League also features touch controls. Oh cool. Uh, I couldn't really check that because the switch is in the dock, but that's a good thing. Uh, Murder by Numbers didn't have touch controls, and that was a weird limitation of that game. Touch a square to fill it in. Hold ZL while touching a square to mark it with an X. Hold L while touching a square to mark it with a question mark. You can also use ZL and Z ZR and R. That sounds really good, actually. That's good design. Use logic and reasoning to solve these first few puzzles and help Pixel Girl escape. I guess that was the tutorial. Oh, now we've got a little bit of a world map going on. Uh, yep, let's go. Okay, this one is super easy. You just do, you just do this. Oh, it counts up as you draw. That's super helpful. Darkness. <laughs> yeah? That's darkness. Um, yeah, this is a much better designed game in terms of doing the puzzles than Murder by Numbers was, which I think is an Im impressive improvement. Target. By the way, you can use uh, the left stick or the D-pad. The right stick does nothing. Uh, which is probably reasonable. Chair. I love this art style, it's super adorable. Exclamation! Stairs! <laughs> So yeah, these really early puzzles are very easy. I assume they'll get a lot harder. Escape. Oh, it's like a go this way to escape sign sort of thing. Cool. Oh, there we go. Being a bit more complicated now. Phone. <laughs> and finally... Oh! Uh... If I wipe the board, does that reset it? No, uh, quit. I want to restart the puzzle. Uh, how do you do that? Uh... I'm hoping it's a faster way than what I just did, because that was really slow. Oh, right, uh, this one. <laughs> the little numbers are really good. This is a really well-designed way to play these puzzles. I like it a lot. 
six, seven, eight. There we go. What are we discovering here? Um, that's one, that's one, that's two. There we go. Help! Oh, it actually says help in different colours, I see. Back at HQ. Great job solving those pixel puzzles. Would you like to hear some additional tips for solving larger puzzles? Yeah, sure. Here are two more tips. This puzzle is 10 by 10, but doesn't contain a row or column with a hint number of 10. Your best bet is to start with the row marked 9. You can't fill this row out completely, but you can use logic to fill as much of it as possible. This row of 9 will either contain one blank square and then nine filled in squares, or nine filled in squares and then one blank square. Either way, the middle eight squares need filling in. You can come back to this row when you have more of the puzzle figured out. You can use this reasoning on the row of six, too. Here's another 10 by 10 puzzle. Look at the row marked 161. Each group of squares needs to be separated by at least one empty square. See, in some cases, count counting the hint numbers plus empty squares will add up to 10. Typo! <laughs> If you want to customise your pixel puzzle solving experience, make sure to open the options menu. In addition to enabling free mode, you can also customise puzzle hints to your liking. You can also disable the timer if you need extra time to solve larger puzzles. Good luck with the rest of the adventure! Finally, I'm free! Thank you, pixel puzzle powers! Ugh, this is a creepy little basement. What's with that one light bulb hanging down from the ceiling? Oh. We need to look at- we know about the light bulb? Okay. Uh, <laughs> question mark? <laughs> Did some pervy architect build this place with a kidnapping scene in mind? You fool. Why would anyone need to build an interrogation chamber of doom? when they can simply rent one at an affordable price per square foot, too. <laughs> uh, no, that's not right. Maybe I'll try. Uh, uh, screw this. You just can't beat the old classics. <laughs> Who's there? Who are you? It is I, none other than your nemesis, the villain and dramatic foil to that despicable puzzle league. I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. I'm kind of new to the team. How could you forget our fateful first encounter? Our destinies have been entwined ever since. Where? Last week, at the Mini Mart. I was watching you buy your favourite strawberry bubble blast gum, but then you ignored me entirely. You mean, that guy who was creeping in the candy aisle? That was... You? Who are you, exactly? I said, I'm the villain! We just went over this. No matter, I've got you right where I want you. Um, outside of my trap, but still ultimately within a larger trap. That door over there is locked after all. What? This game is very silly, and I love it. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Door. I'll open you right up. Rattle rattle. No! Is this a lock? Uh, let me see, what do we got? This one is a lot more complicated. 1, 2, 3, 4, X. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. Uh, let's bust out. Like that. Uh... 1x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, x, 1, yeah, I thought so. Puzzle on! Cute. It looks like the characters are a lot more involved during the puzzles than they are in, um, 
Motor by numbers, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it can't be that one. What could the answer be? She's very adorable. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Doop. Boop. It's kind of weird that it doesn't grey out things when you've already got all the uh, squares filled in. You have to actually do the crosses as well. It's a little bit different to some other pick crosses I've played. There might be chain ways you can change that in the settings though, so uh, I'll have a look at that later. Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop. Blocked. Dang, he's right. This villain really did think of everything. Finally, the time has come where we can meet face to face. Long have I waited to meet you, pixel girl. I've been watching you since the day you joined those pitiful puzzle pedantics. But you're not like them. Put your mind to it, and you could cocoon into a truly warped warrior of twisted justice. Join me, Pixel Girl. I'll show you that villainy is the only real path to the truth. Stand close beside me. You know, maybe just close enough for our hands to accidentally brush. Now a light blush colours your cheeks. You bring your face closer to mine. And then... Hmm, let's see what comes next. Huh? What is going on? <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, okay. One, 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 two, one. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. That. Is he reading? I mean, the villain's probably a he, but you know. You probably shouldn't assume that, just in case. <laughs> uh, we cross all of this out. Heck yes! <laughs> Cutie. My blushes come from my puzzle passion. What a cutie. <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> uh, uh, that goes there, and that means that has to go there. Not there, not there, not there. There we go. Not there. Um, okay, yeah, it has to be this bottom one. It means it can't be this one, which means it needs to look like that. Cards. Uh, what's that sound? Are you using index cards? No, they're evil cards for evil. And what was that last part? With the brushing and the blushing? Nothing at all important. Just forget about it entirely. Forget this monologuing. I'll just leave you locked in here until you show me some respect. 
I was a little frightened, but honestly now I'm just embarrassed. No, go back to being afraid! You will join me, by choice or by force. You're all on your own, what can you hope to do alone? You're never alone when you have puzzles! <laughs> was that supposed to be heroic chess? I understand his meaning, crystal clear. You see, Sudoku, his metaphor, though muddled, is meant to suggest that while one may be alone, the very puzzle of identity means that we can never truly understand ourselves. In that way, even when you are by yourself, you aren't alone, as we as individuals are all made up of further individual pieces. Haha, <laughs> yeah, you sure didn't put words into sentences there, crossword. Uh, I don't know what you said, but that's definitely not what I meant. Sorry, villain, the cavalry has arrived. There's no time to think things through once. The Puzzle League figures things out! We tried searching the warehouse, but the villain had already, already fled. This villain had no minions, no ray guns, and no real concrete plan to try and defeat the Puzzle League. I thought that was the last we'd see of him. What we couldn't figure out at the time was that the Puzzle League's real battle had only begun. Oh, look at the little cuties. And later. Do you have a puzzle that can't be solved? A conundrum eating away at your soul? Did your grandfather leave you a mysterious treasure in his will? Ever had your cat disappear into the ether? Oh no, your ride to the airport bailed on you at the last minute? If you need help finding help when no one's left to help, then help yourself to help from... The Puzzle League! Our members are experts in the mystical puzzle arts. Each of us has been granted divine gift by the powers above. Meet Crossword. Rarely cross, but always full of words. Is that a camera? Crossword knows all. Looking to learn some extra SAT vocabulary? He's your man. So Crossword is a man. <laughs> I am not a thesaurus. Okay, okay, moving on. This is Sudoku, an all-powerful number magician. If you could piece through, pierce through her overly rational, prickly exterior, you'd surely find the equations to laws that govern our very universe. E equals MC squared. And all those other ones. <laughs> this is stupid. And her thousand-eyed demon stare would leave even her most hardened barbarian with a soaking loincloth. Oh my god. Don't say loincloth. Or soaking. For matters of the heart, I'll introduce pi- pi 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 Hey P, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> yeah, that's totally it. The beautiful piss. Pi oh god. <laughs> the joke is that no one knows how to pronounce her name. How do I pronounce her name? <laughs> beautiful P P C -er? P C P C P C can put anything back together again. Your mother's prized vase, the homework your dog ate, even a broken heart. And then there's me, Jess. I'm the chess master of this team and grand strategist behind the scenes. I can lead in any army and win any war, as long as I'm on the side of justice. Call us sometime, we can be summoned from our secret HQ that is definitely purposefully placed in the warehouse district for strategic reasons. Not just because it was all we could afford. Oh, and if we're not in the lab, be sure to check the Snapplebees on Main Street. Justice may never sleep, but evil will occasionally get a short reprieve while we enjoy half-priced appetizers. Who knew I had such powers of cinematography hidden inside me? Can you believe I filmed that promo video in a single take? That was the longest commercial I've ever seen. Thank you! Ugh. Sorry you left out, Pixel Girl. I shot this right before you joined the team. Don't worry, I don't mind. Seriously, it's fine. I'm afraid this commercial may not produce the results you're looking for. I don't know any superheroes who drum up business through television advertisements. Nor do I know about any other superheroes aside from ourselves, for that matter. I'm already 20 moves ahead, Crossword. From my point of view, we're already world famous. We just need to make that crucial move to put the mate in check. That totally makes sense and isn't crazy at all. Did we really have to come out to the warehouse just to watch this? I need to get back home for my guild's raid. This is the moment the Puzzle League enters the spotlight. 
I'm here in downtown city townopolis. <laughs> city townopolis? <laughs> Where eyewitnesses say a kidnapping happened right outside of Chucky Shoemaker's Shoe Emporium. Wow, we really are about to enter the spotlight. Ma'am, were you a witness to the crime? Huh? A uh, kidnapping? Wasn't that just another one of those viral marketing things? For that new superhero show? Or something like that, I don't keep up with the media. Aren't those the guys who loiter around the mall in those weird puzzle outfits? I think it's for some alternate reality game. You really will do anything for money in your 20s. I heard it's a crazy sex thing. They call it puzzling. I don't know how they do it, but I know that they shouldn't be. You heard it here first, folks. This was just a fad called puzzling. It's a TV show, a video game, and the new vaping. <laughs> what will these crazy millennials think of next? This, this is a very silly show. Game. Well, well, that's just irresponsible journalism. What the heck was that? Local news at its finest. We should sue for slander. Can we sue for slander? We absolutely cannot sue for slander. Being a superhero is great and all, but I have to admit, what I really like best... What about libel? Definitely not. Assault. I don't think you know what those words mean. Nonsense, I've already won 12 lawsuits in my mind. He's getting to hang out with my new friends. Oh, My least favourite part is definitely getting kidnapped, though. This has been a super eventful day. I took a nice walk, looked at some cool shoes, and got kidnapped by a megalomaniac. You okay, Pixel Girl? You've got a super concerned look on your face. Sorry, PC, I'm just worried about that bad guy from earlier. He said he's been watching me, and we still don't know anything about him. Have no fear, Pixel Girl. I bet Chess or Crossword will puzzle out a way to get you home safe and sound. Of course, we'll not allow a single hair on your head to be harmed. Quit jumping ahead. Our meeting isn't done. I vote to wrap this thing up. This isn't a democracy either. I don't remember voting for you as leader. Dictators don't get voted in. Actually, in ancient Rome, dictators were individuals voted into office by the Senate to wield absolute authority in times of crisis. After the crisis passed, the dictator will willingly give up his power. I'm not a dictator, and we're not voting. You can't bake your cake and eat it too, Chess. Okay, fine. Who wants to adjourn this meeting early? Me. Me. I suppose... Should we wrap the meeting up? Hmm... Sorry, Chess, I'm ready to go home too. It's getting late, and I just bought this new book of pixel puzzles. You know how it is. You really don't know him an explanation. He pouts like this every time. Fine, we will once again have it your way. We'll all go our separate ways, unprepared to face the terrifying challenges ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, are we puzzling out where the door is or something? That was an accident, but it worked out, I guess. And then we need seven, so that just goes... Fill her in! Another day, another hero supered! <laughs> Cutie. Fumble. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Adjourned. Oh, that's adorable. Got it. Meeting dismissed. Also, be back here tomorrow. Sayonara, puzzle peeps. We shall regroup tomorrow. Guess I better go home. You will join me by choice or by force. Maybe I'll ask someone to walk home with me, just in case. 
Oh, 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 options. Oh, I see. Who do we want to hang out with? Let's go talk to Sudoku. Oh, man. Yeah, Sudoku. Let's go. If I remember correctly, Sudoku lives near my neighborhood. Maybe I can walk home with her. I'll just ask... Huh? Did she walk out already? Wait for me! Hey, Sudoku, wait up! Hmm? I'm headed this way too, can I walk with you? Oh, sure. I guess. She's walking awfully fast. Seriously, how is she walking so quickly in those shoes? I can barely keep up with her. I'm sorry, Sudoku, but can you please slow down? I have a raid to get to. A rave? Like a party? No, a raid, like in an MMORPG. Where you and a bunch of people complete a dungeon together? Fight bad guys? Video games. Common textbook terms? Sorry, I only do pixel puzzles. Oh, what a nerd. <laughs> Figures. But I bet it's interesting. What kind of game do you play? It's called Sweetheart Safari Online. S oh, S2O. S2O for short. All the characters are animals and you join guilds called zoos to protect each other from enemy attacks. The classes can be hard to grasp at first because they're all animal themed, but it's fun once you get it. I play a tiger tank so I'm always on the front lines, but my guildies are really good about supporting me, in game and out. Our healer even designed my superhero costume. She's got this way with fabric, it's... it's... It's a fun enough game, for a time sink kind of thing. Your friend designed your outfit? That's so cool! Whatever, it's too frilly for me, honestly. Your look is super cute! I couldn't get away with wearing anything like that, but it suits you perfectly. I just wear this costume because it seems like the sort of thing a superhero would wear. It's not like it really reflects me or anything. I mean, how can I capture my essence when I don't fully understand my powers? I don't get why I have them in the first place. For my whole life I've been a normal, everyday girl. I've always loved the elegant beauty of pixel puzzles, but they're only brain teasers. I would never have called my skills magical. But one day I was working on some pixel puzzles at my desk when the sky opened up. It's hard to explain, but there was this big light. Like the light at the end of the tunnel people see when they almost die? Then a voice spoke to me, echoing like it was coming from the back of my head. Strike down that which does not belong to this world. The next minute, the sky closed up, the voice fell silent, and suddenly pixel puzzles could solve all my problems. It might not sound true, but I believe it. I probably sound crazy. I also heard that voice. It told me, create order from the empty squares of chaos. I guess that makes sense to me. Since you guys are all a bunch of squares. <laughs> oh, puzzle time. Uh, every puzzle has an answer, probably. <laughs> Cutie. Du -du -du -du. Fill her in. Sudoku. Oh. You heard the voice too? I think we all did. Except maybe PC. I don't think that part poking out of her is an ear. <laughs> it's nice to know we're not alone, right? Life would be way harder if we didn't have our friends. Maybe. I don't know. She looks so serious. Maybe I said something wrong. Maybe that's just how her face always looks? We've arrived at my apartment, accident free. Cool. Wait, Sudoku. Will you be okay getting home alone? I'm okay on my own. And she's gone quick. She does have a game to get to. Maybe I'll check out check out S2O later. My big day of my big day off definitely could have gone better. But I guess it could have also gone way worse. Yes, I was kidnapped, but I was also rescued. Come on, Pixel Girl, you need to stay positive. 
You're a superhero after all. Think of it this way. Today just proved that I have some really great friends. I mean, co-workers? Hmm. Maybe potential friends? Or maybe... Something more than friends. Whoa. Chess is very energetic, but also earnest and sweet. Crossword is a cool guy and never lets anything bother him. Sudoku is standoffish, but might be hiding a serious inner cutie? And PC is definitely very mysterious. It's like I'm the star of a quick quirky indie flick. Am I living in a rom-com? I guess I'll find out tomorrow. Time to tuck in and pass out. Uh, yeah. Oh, more puzzles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That goes there, that goes there. Therefore, that must be there. One, two, three, four, five. Can't be up here. Oh, actually, I can cross out the whole front top row there as well. There we go. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, boop. Boop, boop. I guess this is like a going to sleep puzzle. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, cross out that one. Boop, boop. That goes there, that goes there, 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 there. Do, do, do. Oops, no, that stays crossed. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, so that's there, 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 and there. And that goes there. Oh, bedtime. <laughs> Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about the way this is paced. Um, in Murder by Numbers, you know, the puzzles were always in the middle of the investigation. Here you've got, like, a bunch of story and then a bunch of puzzles. Which is kind of a weird way of arranging it. Oops. Also, I need to stop accidentally nudging the uh, analog stick and drawing in the wrong section, because that doesn't help at all. <laughs> do, 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 do. Four, do, do. Uh, one, two, three, yep, exactly five there, good. Uh, exactly six here, yep. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, not there, not there. Therefore, there and there. And there. Oh, This is very cute. <laughs> Oh my, this is a bigger puzzle. Whoop! Yeah, that's happening. I think I'm like nudging the analog a certain direction and it changes like the path that I'm going in or whatever. It's a bit frustrating. I want 13 of those, there we go. Uh, 9 and 2. This one's a lot more complicated all of a sudden. That's kind of a weird difficulty spike in the middle of a, of a sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so it's that. And that goes there. There, 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 there. Okay. And there, which means it goes up to there as well. I actually cross out most of these already, which is very helpful. So, boop. And you can also come over here. I guess the time limit is much more generous for this one, so it's not a huge deal that it's a bit more difficult. Like 
so. There we go. And then we want five over here, so these ones. There we go, and then there. And that goes there. Uh, we can cross out that. We don't know which of the others it is yet, but we can cross that out, so that's cool. I kind of wish it would grey out if you had the boxes in the right spot without needing the crosses as well. I'm not sure why it doesn't do that, because most Picross games I've played do. Oh, it's not right. Um, it should be like that. Here we go. That goes there, like so. Uh, that goes across. Toast! Oh, is it... Is it morning already? I, or are we having toast for, for bed? I, I'm confused. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, toast. And this one is much easier. But the time limit is much shorter, so I guess that works out. Uh, I, I guess the math works. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Seven, eight. There we go. Can't be that one. Uh, can't be any of those. Can't be any of these. Can't be any of these. One there, there we go. Uh, cross that out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, it's up to there. And we need two groups of two, so that goes like that. Oh, then I got that wrong. Mm. But we should be fine time wise. Go. Uh, that connects to that. That goes to there. Um, a tree, apparently. <laughs> I'm not sure what this has to do with the overall theme of the section. If I wipe now, it doesn't reset the time. Uh, I wish it, wish that were just a complete reset button, but it is not. a little frustrating. Uh, okay, well that joins up to there. And I can cross out all of these. Cross out all of those. groups of two or seven there, so we can cross out all of those. Uh, yeah, I don't really understand how this fits into the narrative, but uh, there's a puzzle that's alright. <laughs> oh my goodness. like that. Two, three, one, two, three. So it's got to be there. And there. There we go. Uh, that's got to be three, so it's like this. Actually, just looking at the vertical would be much easier there. So that was a bit foolish on my part. That can't be a group of two. There. Let's 
that's right, isn't it? Yes, good. Hmm. Okay. Two, one, two. Goes to there. Nearly there. Uh, it's not there, but it is there. One, one, two, so it's there and there. Not any of those places. Yeah, not having it grey out the numbers that you've already done makes it more confusing than it needs to be, I think. Oh, uh, something's wrong here. Oh, I didn't look at the look at it carefully enough. Is what's wrong? Oopsie daisies. Uh, There we go. Oh, it's a house. Um, I mean, I, I guess you can sleep in a house. <laughs> I don't know. So if I were to take another route, like if I went through one of these other people's, I guess that's how you pick which character you want to get closer to. Looks like that's how it's essentially going to work. Hmm. Um. Hang on, I want to... Have a look at the puzzle options. Uh, highlight hint numbers, fade completed numbers, starting hint prompt, free mode, time. Let's try turning that on and see what difference that makes. I'm the first hero at Puzzle League HQ this morning. Early to bed, early to rise, keeps cocky young heroes from early demise. Suddenly I find myself overwhelmed. With just a few minutes of unrestricted access, I could do anything. Like, nap on the couch, help myself to all the snacks. I could even mess with Chess's beloved corkboard. That actually would be very heroic. But it would le lead to some high-class hijinks. I'll just take a peek at what crimes he's currently investigating. The mayor is sleeping with who? That cad. <laughs> Good morning, fellow heroes. Why, hello Chess, I was just doing nothing suspicious at all. <laughs> Were you checking out my corkboard? I was checking it out with my eyes only and definitely not my hands. Well, turn those inquisitive eyes back towards yesterday's mystery. And then also watch my keen intellect to bring you a kidnapper to justice. Talking about kidnapping this early in the morning, Chess? That's more of a lunchtime conversation. There you are, Crossword, exactly 3 minutes and 47 seconds late. I always arrive precisely when I mean to. What? Oh, it's a Tolkien reference. I see. Good morning, pretty puzzle peeps. Sorry I'm late. I picked up Sudoku on my way here. Hello, police. I'd like to report another kidnapping. There's no such thing as kidnapping between friends. Good job, P. Now we can begin the meeting. Oh, goody. In response to recent villainous acts, I think it's time we expand our patrol routes. Patrol routes? You mean, hanging out at the mall? No, Sudoku, it's time we stepped beyond the confines of the mall. I want us patrolling the entire city. Between the five of us, we can keep the streets safe from all manner of crooks. Last night I took the liberty of compiling schedules for all of us. And I paired us based on optimal power compatibility. First shift will be a solo PC, crossword and Sudoku, and Pixel Girl and myself. It would all work just as well with Pixel Girl, but your proposed schedule pairs you two together exclusively. If compatibility is the concern, why aren't you and I ever paired together? I think we're compatible enough. No, the math the math is in and you were wrong. You and Sudoku both fill in squares. Perfect match, can't do any better. Let me look at your algorithm. I'm sure I could nudge the numbers along. I just want to show the newbie around. The oldest team member and the newest have to team up. It's very logical. I don't care who I'm paired with. Whichever way maximizes our justice is fine by me. It makes more sense to rotate partners regularly. We have an odd number anyway. Does it matter who is physically with who? With whom, God, Chess, come on. We're always in contact thanks to our high-tech communicators. You mean our cell phones? Communicators. <laughs> Just because you gave us these weird branded phone cases doesn't mean... 
Wait, I just got an alert. Something weird is going on. Somebody turn on the TV. Not in the middle of the meeting, Sudoku. Shut it, Square, this is serious. Look. Folks, reporting live from a baffling scene at the Skyway, Skyway Strip Mall. A massive tower has appeared out of thin air, wedging itself into the mall's parking lot. The structure is impossibly tall, defying all traditional logic. Also, physics? <laughs> We're going to take the copter in for a closer look. How intense. A puzzling tower appears out of nowhere. A mysterious villain steps out from the shadows. Isn't this exactly the situation we wanted? But for all our talk of superheroics, we're just sitting here in silence. 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 <laughs> are we going to do something about this? Uh, of course we are. My great foresight led us here, didn't it? It's our destiny. Dad might be taking it too far. I agree with PC. I mean, I don't know if it's Destiny specifically, but this is what we've been waiting for, right? We'll take on this challenge together. I couldn't have put it better myself. I mean, I definitely could have, but you're allowed to give a noble speech every once in a while. Wow, what a nerd. Emphasis on once. All for one and one for all. Yeah, okay. Puzzle League, let's move out. Oh, look, it's the villain, little pixel villain there. What do we got happening in here? A cutscene. Now, what do we have here? Huh, the appearance of the puzzle tower, right on schedule. Maybe I won't need her help after all. You can tell he means pixel girl because the her is in, in pixel girl's color. <laughs> I knew this world belonged to me, and I won't stop until the gods themselves hand it over. <laughs> Spooky. Five minutes later, and we're already back at HQ. Here's to wasted effort. They were totally excited to go down and help, but. Then the mayor asked people to stay away while the police set up a perimeter. Hey, Cap. Okay, puzzle time. Uh, let's see. One, two, four. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh, let us investigate. Uh, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Puzzles are getting trickier. What are we supposed to do? Um, let me see. X, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so those two. And the same deal on this side, like that. Yeah, I thought so. Plenty of room for poss multiple possibilities there. Can't be that one. Right? 1, 1, 2, 3, x, 1, 2, but 1, 2, x, 1, 2, 3, x, 1. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that means that's got to go there, which means it can't go there. Okay, we're narrowing things down a bit. Uh, a bit. It's actually a bit of a fiddly one. Hmm. X, one, two, three, X, one, two. That could also be one, one, two, three, X, one, two, somewhere there. Is that right? I think that's right. 
I can't be either of those. Okay, we're figuring things out. Okay. Okay, progress is being made. <sighs> that was a bit of a tricky one to get started. <sighs> oh, cool. Okay, so when you fill in all the squares, it puts the X's in automatically. Yeah, that, that's good. I like that. I think it's a good setting to have on, based on how this game works. Uh, that goes there and there. Yep. Yeah, this makes more sense. As a way to have the game work. Cool. Uh, six. There we go. much quicker as well, which is nice. There we go. No entry. Oh no! We don't want to get in the way. I guess we'll just wait things out for now. From 60 to 0, just like that. Oh. Emergency medical staff are now treating four people who suffered injuries at the scene of the crash. One citizen has also been reported as missing. If you have any information on their whereabouts, please contact. Missing? A couple of people probably got swept up in the chaos and scattered. I give them an hour to turn up. Hopefully. Even humans can get lost in the cosmic couch cushions of reality. I hope everyone is alright. Chess looks troubled. I can't blame him, I'm starting to feel anxious myself. As long as I can remember, we've never had anything worse than petty crime in our city. Does this new threat have something to do with us? Chess, are you alright? You look pale. More so than usual. I... Uh, I'm the leader, after all. Let's try a pep talk. <sighs> okay, team. We haven't had much crime to fight lately. I mean, this is more of an unnatural disaster than a crime. But heroes aren't all about fighting criminals. We help people whenever they're in trouble. Here's an order from your leader. Let's go look for that missing per. Oop. Who's this? Is this the villain, or I don't know what voice to use. <clears throat> it is the villain. Good morning, puzzle peeps. Bring your attention back to your TV screen. This is a special broadcast for the self-proclaimed Puzzle League. I warned you, Pixel Girl. You were clearly not interested in cooperating with me, even when I asked very nicely. Hmm? What is this guy's problem? Therefore, I'm undergoing a little career change. I'm shifting from villainy to construction work, and this city is cleared for demolition. I'll bulldoze your hopes and dreams to build a new world just for me. I thought I'd start small by placing this puzzle tower here. Yes, that is what it's now called. Don't ask me why I chose the mall. It's definitely where I intended for this thing to fall. Uh, to stand as a home base, where I will start my illustrious legacy of destruction. So then, Puzzle League, the gauntlet is thrown. You have mere days to surrender and forfeit your lives. Only then will I consider sparing or potentially evacuating the innocent civilians of this city. Maybe I'll build them a resort island if you give up in the next 40 minutes. And don't even think about trying to break in here. This place is locked tight and, now I, and I now sit invulnerable. Seriously, I cannot figure out how to get the front door open again. I am getting a little claustrophobic. Ahem. I await your formal written letter of surrender, Pixel Girl. Otherwise, the destruction will continue. Whether I want it to or not. It's the villain again. Now he's threatening the city? Just to get back at me? What did I even do? Why does he think he knows me? Eleven down. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a crossword clue. A feeling of unease when faced with the terrifying unknown. Uncertainty. Yeah, that works. Oh. We're more like five down by the looks of it. 
I guess we weren't the only ones to get our powers from the heavens. We're coming back on the air after being interrupted by a pirate signal broadcasting from inside the tower. No idea how it managed to sweep the airwaves, we're still dedicated to providing coverage of the day's events. We have an update on the missing person case. No longer involved in the puzzle tower incident, the missing man actually just lied to his wife about going to the mall to buy gifts for his son. He was found drinking at the local Snapplebee's and has amassed quite the tab. Hope your kiddo's fourth birthday goes well, you two. Huh. Ugh, TV time is over. Hey Chess, two deep breaths, okay? Uh, alright. Alright. All right. I, Chess, have surveyed the situation and can make two very astute tactical observations. You're actually using a plan this time? But improv is your speciality. No, I've always been like this. Number one, the villain has clearly marked himself as our adversary and is trying to disband us through some nefarious force. Number two, he hasn't actually done anything seriously dangerous yet. It's not too late to stop him. Well spoken, Chess. Therefore, as our leader slash dictator slash president, I propose the following moves. Puzzle leak to tower. Puzzle leak to villain's command room. Villain to jail. And finally, puzzle leak to Snapplebees. That's some black and white thinking I can get behind. Team, I just want to say... I'm sorry. I don't know why this villain wants anything to do with me, and I only just met him yesterday, but just so you all know, I... Pixel Girl, stop. None of this is your fault. This probably has nothing to do with you whatsoever. Maybe not you specifically, but with all of us. Our powers were given to us by a mysterious force. And while we haven't had to actually use them for anything useful, like, ever, now it seems like the villain can use them too. So let's beat this guy down and get it over with. Then maybe we'll know why we have our powers and can finally be heroic. Well said, Sudoku. Let's beat up the villain and get featured on TV. That is almost definitely not what I just said. Shall we investigate then? If we step out now, we should arrive just as the police are taking off for lunch. Provide what's lacking while law enforcement's slacking. Cute. I'm feeling better about this, guys. Thank you. Let's hop on public transportation and make moves like real heroes. Oh, puzzle time. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. There it goes there. There it goes there. Oh, right. Yeah, that was that was not correct. That was incorrect. I have made an error. Um. It needs to connect all the way up to there, it means it goes to there, which means that goes to there, and there, and there. Like that. And it goes to there. Yeah, it definitely works better this way, where it's actually putting in the crosses for you. Simplifies things a lot. Maybe a bit too much? Eh, it's alright. It's fine. It's fine. Every puzzle has an answer, probably. <laughs> Boop. Um. It goes there and there. Da, 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 da. And there, and then there, and there. The subway! <laughs> of course. Oh, next page. It's a loading screen? Oh, no. To the tower? Okay, and I can press L to go back. Yeah, okay. Um... I think we're gonna call it there for now. Um, so yeah. This is... whatever this game is called, I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, Pixel Puzzle Makeout Leak. Uh, so yeah, um... It's basically... Another visual novel with a bunch of Picross in it. 
Uh, I believe the puzzles get, like, more complex as you interact with the characters. Like, Sudoku elements get added to the puzzle when you're hanging out with Sudoku, and uh, you get puzzle pieces and stuff like that, as well as the um, Picross stuff. That doesn't seem to happen for a while, though, given I've already done about an hour of play and it hasn't happened yet. So, uh, yeah, that, that's presumably a thing. Um, but that's about it for this video, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, bye!